Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build. This is the show where I build and review some of your favorite construction brick sets. And today I'm going a little bit outside of the norm for the sets that I normally buy and build. And if you clicked on this video, you already know what set I'm going to be reviewing. And it's just out of the norm since this set is normally for girls. But it is uh, the Disney Princess Elsa's Sparkling Ice Castle. It's set number 41062 and it has 292 pieces. And uh, so yeah, I, I picked up this set. It's been kind of hard to find and uh, more expensive online than it was in store. I bought it for $40 at Toys R Us. And up until the time I bought it, I was seeing it online for like 60 and $65. So, but uh, yeah, I, I, you know, before this was announced, I was thinking, you know, Lego needed to cash in on their Disney licenses because Frozen has been the highest grossing Disney movie of all time. So uh, it only made sense that they would make a Lego set that would tie into Frozen, or at least several. And so far, I think this is the only one that they have done. I don't know if they're going to do any more, but it would be smart if they did. So, but, uh, but yeah, so this is the first set that I've built uh, that is this style. Uh, they've got Disney Princesses and the Lego Friends and the new Elves line. It's just, you know, different minifigures and generally... Since it's for girls, the colors are really bright and vibrant and really girly. So, but um, I actually built this set with my two-year-old daughter, and uh, I'm gonna throw a picture up on the screen, and she just loved this set, and she just, you know, she loved every second of us building it together. And I tried to get this set review done and out because she keeps playing with the minifigures, and I'm afraid she's gonna lose all the pieces to them. So. I want to try and hurry up and get this out as quickly as possible. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this set. All right, guys, so here is the finished set, uh, the Elsa's Sparkling Ice Castle. And uh, like I said uh, at the beginning of this video, you can tell like there that this set is meant for girls based on, on just the colors and the... You know, I'll paint, you know, all the vibrant pinks and greens and blues, and uh, it's kind of, you know, I, I'll show you in closer detail in just a moment, but the uh, a lot of the transparent blue have the uh, little glittery uh, speckles in them, and then also the uh, all the stickers are um, metallic with, uh, you know, just all the purples and blues and stuff like that. Um, but you can see the minifigures that come with this are uh, Elsa, Anna, and a little Olaf, which uh, is probably my favorite part of the entire set. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at the minifigures. All right, guys, here are the minifigures that are included in the set. And from left to right, we have Elsa, and then Anna, and then on the very end, we have Olaf. Now, these minifigures, if you've never built any of the sets that are like the uh, Lego Friends, Elves, or the Disney Princesses, they are not like your traditional Lego minifigures. They actually, they to me at least, they feel a little bit more like Barbies uh, because they just got the, uh, you know, the they're not just they're not so straight brick kind of minifigures. They have they're curvy. They've got more, you know, these ones have like skirts instead of actual Lego legs. And uh, I think that most of the Lego friends have actual legs. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, they do retain a few of the same kind of qualities. Like they have the same kind of claw hands, although they can't twist and turn like a regular minifigure would. And their heads are actually different too. And the hair that they have on there are rubber. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if the hair on the other ones are actual plastic, but uh, these ones in this case are rubber and they have holes in them so you can add little um, I don't know, little accessories to them. But uh, yeah, so from left to right, like I said, we have Elsa and then Anna and then Olaf. And uh, I, I, I like the way that they did these minifigures because you know you can tell they've got some uh, pretty close detail to the way that the, uh, the characters look in the movie. And I especially like for Elsa the um, the little fire piece that they added to her that it's blue to kind of um, simulate her little her ice powers. I thought that was pretty cool. And um, just uh, yeah, with Anna too, they added all of the uh, details with her hair and her cloak, and she's got a little torch. And then Olaf especially, I really really love that little minifigure. But my gripe with him. Is that I mean, if you've you know seen Frozen as much as I have, or just at all, you'll notice that 
Olaf has a few little twigs coming out of the top of his head. And um, that's just, it kind of bugs me that they didn't add those little twigs or even like a, a hole that you could add little uh, like twig pieces. I don't even know if they are those, you know, are those kind of Lego pieces. But it would have been nice to have a little something on top of his head instead of just leaving it a uh, smooth top. It kind of looks like he's bald now. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn them around so you can see from, see them from the back. Here's a look at them from behind. Um, I could only move Elsa's uh, cape because hers, unlike the rest of the minifigures that just in general are the capes that the minifigures have, they, they don't fold around, so you can just um, slide that down the neck piece and it can move freely. Uh, but you can see, I mean, pretty much Anna is the same uh, on the back. Since she doesn't have legs, there is a little slot piece right there that you can um, use to sit them down on different things, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, that you can actually uh, use Anna on a different, on a sled that comes with it. So... But yeah, they pretty much look like the same from behind, and you can see the hair in better detail. Like I said, it's rubber, and it does have little holes that you can um, put little accessories on, like you can see on Elsa's braid. It comes with a little purple ribbon or bow that you can actually stick in there. And with Olaf, the only thing that makes him kind of a minifigure is his head, uh, because every other piece is just a regular Lego piece. And I want to turn him around real quick. To show you guys, um, <laughs> you know, the carrot pieces, they wouldn't work for his uh, nose. So they put in, it's the only other time I've seen this piece used is in Princess Unikitty. So that's the, uh, the Unikitty horn, just orange to make it look like a carrot. And here we have Anna with some of the uh, accessories or uh, some of the little play features that she has. Uh, like I said before, with the uh, the way that their bottom halves are with the skirts, since they don't have legs, they do have that little notch in the back so they can um, interact with different things and sit down on certain things. So we have a little sled, and I thought this was supposed to be, you know, if you've seen the movie, I thought it was supposed to be um, Kristoff's sled, but it obviously isn't because it's got a lot of pink and it's got the little uh, flowers and it's got the whips and stuff like that so it, it you know it's definitely not his and also it's only for one person but like I said right there you can see where uh, that piece uh, is towards the front it's so she can actually fit onto there and stay on there since she doesn't have any legs so all you do is just uh, pick her up and bend her at the waist and you can see that she also has um, like the feet holes right there and I'll get to that in a minute but since she has that little notch you can just stick her right down on the sled and she's not going to fall off or go anywhere, which uh, that's where this little slope comes into play. You can actually put the sled up on top and just lightly push it, and she'll go down the go down the slope. And this little slope right here, you can see it's just supposed to be like a little ice slope, and it's got a little basket right here and some flowers. And in this basket, they actually have ice skates which, um, I mean, pretty much everything in here, it will fit on regular mini, uh, Lego minifigures, but, you know, it's meant for these ones right here. So you can just take the little skates off and put them on the bottom of her feet. But yeah, I didn't think about this until uh, I got the ice skates on her, but you might actually be able to send her down the ice uh, ramp. I don't know how well this will work, but let's see. Nope. <laughs> she just falls flat on her face. But, uh, but yeah, so she can put... Yeah, you know, little accessories on there like the ice skates. And then also, it's kind of odd. I don't know why they added this little feature to the little ice slope. But you can flip this up right here. And then there's a little cookie <laughs> right there. I don't know what the point is, but yeah, it's just a little cookie piece underneath the ice slope. And here we have Olaf, and uh, he actually comes with a picnic blanket with a sandwich and a little cookie. Again, uh, you know, there's just a little cookie right there. But uh, I really like how they did the uh, the sandwich piece. They used the uh, some of the flower petal or the flower pieces right there to make it look like the like lunch meat, and then a little yellow or a green stud right there to make it look like lettuce. But uh, but yeah, you can you know this is from if you've seen the movie, you know he has this whole summertime song, and uh, there's a scene where he's got the little picnic blanket. Right there, and you can just put him right there, and he can enjoy his little picnic. And here's just another uh, close-up of Olaf. You can actually see uh, his buck teeth right there in the front, and uh, his arms are 
I've seen those pieces used uh, when they're colored green for like the stalk of carrots and stuff like that, or you know little twigs, branches, stuff like that. So, but yeah, it's just uh, I, he's probably my favorite part of this entire set. Um, but like I said, yeah, the only thing that really bugs me is that they didn't add any kind of twigs or anything like that on top of his head, and there's not even a hole or anything for that. All right, now here we have the uh, the sparkling ice castle itself. And it, there is a reason why it's called sparkling because uh, if you can tell the big window pieces like right here and on the sides, they have the really sparkly glitter uh, infused into the plastic of the of the mold. And this ice castle has uh, three separate layers. You got the, the area where you go right in and then uh, you got a little balcony area right there. And then you have, I guess it's... Uh, it's not the bedroom. That's supposed to be the bedroom right there. But this is supposed to be just kind of like a little, uh, I guess, another balcony or like a reading nook or whatever like that. So um, I'll get in a closer shot and uh, show you guys that. Now, one of the features I wanted to point out uh, right here in the front over on the left hand side, you'll see that there's kind of like an ice wall right here. Well, this actually is a staircase that you push the top piece and then you just bring it around and it unfolds into a little staircase. And here's a view of the uh, the first level from behind. Again, right there in the center, you got the uh, the sparkly uh, ice crystals uh, popping up right there out of the floor. And then on the left, yeah, well, okay, let me point out, you know, since this is a girly set, you know, it's not supposed to be, uh, you know, true completely to the movie. So, you know, there there wasn't ever a, uh, you know, like an ice creamery in uh, Elsa's palace, but you can see there on the left, there's um, uh, one of the stickers on the back of the wall shows some drinks up there, and then there's actually uh, physical pieces of a uh, of like an ice pop, a yellow ice pop, and then on the right of uh, that, there's like a chocolate ice cream cone, I guess, and then over there on the left, through the uh, the sparkly blue piece, you actually see that there is. I guess it's supposed to be like a drink fountain or like a snow cone maker. I'm not sure. But then uh, on the right side over there, there's another sticker that's got like mittens and a scarf and everything like that. And now that I'm looking at it, I do believe that I put it upside down because it doesn't make any sense for the scarf to be uh, sitting up or hanging up like that. <laughs> so... Oops, messed up. But then uh, right in front of that, you have this um, purple disc, and there's also another sticker right there, and I believe that that is actually supposed to be a seat of some kind. And then you have these, um, my hand's kind of in the way, but you have these uh, skis right here, which is, you know, another add-on that you can put onto your minifigures. And they have them just sitting in one of these slotted pieces, but it doesn't go in there easily. It's, you know... It's meant to help, I guess, help it lean up against the wall, but it's really irritating to try and do that. So, and also, you know, I'll use the ski as a pointer. You can see that the sticker right there is definitely upside down because of the way the scarf is hanging and the mittens are hanging off that nail, but they're all hanging upside down. Then there's a shelf with something sitting on there. But, oh well, this was me and my daughter built it, so it's not that big of a deal. And here's a shot of the uh, the second level from the front, and it's just got a little balcony with uh, I, I guess those are just you know little jewel accents, um, and then you know you got more ice on the sides, and then also you can see through there that there's a torch, which I will turn that around in just a second. And here's the uh, the inside of the second level. I had to kind of angle it so I could uh, fully show you guys what's in there, but you can see that there's a bed. And uh, again, they used the piece for the pillow like they did in, back in my Simpsons review. And I really like just the way that that piece looks there as a pillow. Um, but you can see there's another sticker up on the up on the, the bed. I guess it's supposed to be just like the, the blanket, you know, with the snowflake on it. And then uh, to the right you have, I guess it's like a little uh, vanity table or like a dresser. And then there's a bottle, I guess it's supposed to be like a bottle of perfume on the right. And then a crown on the left, which... Um, I haven't put it on her, but you know, like I showed you with Elsa, she's got holes in her, uh, her hair piece. So you can actually put stuff in and there's a hole on the top of it, which, um, that crown is actually being stuck in by just a little peg. And I'm sure you could probably put that on the top of her hair if you wanted. 
And then there's also a torch, I guess, to supposedly light up the room. And now we come to the uh, top level, and there's not a whole lot going on on the outside. Um, there's just, uh, you know, they, they use those lightsaber pieces throughout the set. Um, I guess just, you know, have a little, like, ice accents. And then you got the, uh, you know, the mountainside kind of piece. And you can see the blue glittery, uh, you know, it's just blue and glittery. <laughs> Um, and then above that on the top you can see there's like a little bit of snow and then there's that big purple snowflake. And even though there wasn't a whole lot going on on the outside, on the inside you can see it's actually supposed to be kind of like a little reading nook I guess. Um, you got another one of those little purple disc seats with the sticker on it. And then you get a printed envelope piece and then right here in this little slot you get a book and then there's also a sticker for that, I guess it's supposed to be like a, I don't know, like a storybook or whatever, like a fairy tale book, because it's got a castle on it, and it's just your standard book, Lego piece. It pops open, and there's nothing inside, but you know, it pops shut. Now, something I wanted to say about these Lego book pieces, I don't really like them because you know they'll they come in the bag. Here, let me bring it in close and focus in. So yeah, so they come in the bags flat like this. But then as soon as you shut them, they get these awful looking white bend lines on it. And once you shut it, those bend lines do not go away. Um, the only other set that I have that has a little book piece like this was one of the Lord of the Rings sets. And yeah, as soon as you shut the book, it does that every time and I just hate that they made it to where it does that. I just hate the <laughs> I hate the uh, the bend lines that come from actually shutting the book. And if you are buying this set for your kids, which honestly you most likely are, um, with this book piece and also with the skis and all that stuff, there are a lot of things that aren't secure so they will fall out if you just pick them up and run with it. So that's something to keep in mind with uh, the kids because my, uh, my two-year-old daughter actually came and got this when I wasn't with her and ended up losing a lot of the stuff and I had to try and track it down and find it. But yes, this is just sitting in that little slot right there. So if you pick it up, it's gonna fall out. All right guys, so that is it for this set review. What did you think of Elsa's Sparkling Ice Castle and uh, for those of you who are parents, are you going to be buying these sets for or this set for uh, your daughter? Or if you have, uh, did they look as ecstatic as my little girl did when uh, when we built it based on that picture? Uh, just let me know in the comments down below. And um, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, share, and subscribe to my channel where I have tons more videos and I will continue to be building and reviewing some of your favorite construction brick sets. I will see you in the next episode and as always, keep on building.